The digastric muscle is a small muscle located under the jaw. The term digastric muscle refers to this specific muscle. However, other muscles that have two separate muscle bellies include the ligament of trites, omyoid, occipitofrontalis. It lies below the body of the mandible, and extends, in a curved form, from the mastoid process to the symphysis menti. It belongs to the suprioid muscles group. A broad aponeurotic layer is given off from the tendon of the digastricus on either side, to be attached to the body and greater corneal the hyoid bone. This is termed the suprioid aponeurosis. Structure The digastricus consists of two muscular bellies united by an intermediate rounded tendon. The two bellies of the digastric muscle have different embryological origins, and are supplied by different cranial nerves. Equals posterior belly equals, the posterior belly, longer than the anterior belly, arises from the mastoid notch which is on the inferior surface of the skull, medial to the mastoid process of the temporal bone. The mastoid notch is a deep groove between the mastoid process and a styloid process. The mastoid notch is also referred to as the digastric groove or the digastric notch. The posterior belly is supplied by the digastric branch of facial nerve. The digastric muscle stretches between the mastoid process of the cranium to the mandible at the chin, and parts way between, it becomes a tendon which passes through a tendinous pulley attached to the hyoid bone. It originates from the second pharyngeal arch. Equals anterior belly equals, the anterior belly arises from a depression on the inner side of the lower border of the mandible called the digastric fossa, close to the symphysis, and passes downward and backward. The anterior body is supplied by the trigeminal via the mylohyoid nerve, a branch of the inferior alveolar nerve, itself a branch of the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. It originates from the first pharyngeal arch. Equals intermediate tendon equals, the two bellies end in an intermediate tendon which perforates the stylohyoideus muscle, and is held in connection with the side of the body and the greater corneal the hyoid bone by a fibrous loop, which is sometimes lined by a mucus sheath. Equals variations equals, variations are numerous. The posterior belly may arise partly or entirely from the styloid process, or be connected by a slip to the middle or inferior constrictor. The anterior belly may be double or extra slips from this belly may pass to the jaw or mylohyoideus or decussate with a similar slip on opposite side. Anterior belly may be absent and posterior belly inserted into the middle of the jaw or hyoid bone. The tendon may pass in front, more rarely behind the stylohyoideus. The mentohyoideus muscle passes from the body of hyoid bone to chin. Equals triangles equals, the digastricus divides the anterior triangle of the neck into three smaller triangles. 1. The submandibular triangle, also called digastric triangle, bounded above by the lower border of the body of the mandible, and a line drawn from its angle to the sternocleidomastoideus below by the posterior belly of the digastricus and the stylohyoideus, in front by the anterior belly of the digastricus. 2. The carotid triangle, bounded above by the posterior belly of the digastricus and stylohyoideus, behind by the sternocleidomastoideus, below by the omyoideus. 3. The suprioid or submental triangle, bounded laterally by the anterior belly of the digastricus, medially by the middle line of the neck from the hyoid bone to the symphysis menti, and inferiorly by the body of the hyoid bone. 4. The inferior carotid triangle, is bounded, in front, by the median line of the neck from the hyoid bone to the sternum. Behind, by the anterior margin of the sternocleidomastoideus. Above, by the superior belly of the omyoideus. Function, when the digastric muscle contracts, it acts to elevate the hyoid bone. If the hyoid is being held in place, it will tend to depress the mandible. Other animals, the digastric muscles are present in a variety of animals, specific attachment sites may vary. For example, in the orangutan, the posterior digastric attaches to the mandible rather than the hyoid. References This article incorporates text in the public domain from the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy. External links, minus 664,076,211 at Knotebook, Frontal Section, Anatomy Figure, 3402-02 at Human Anatomy Online, SUNY Downstate Medical Center, 
Anatomy Photo, 2417-0101 at the SUNY Downstate Medical Center, Anatomy Diagram, 25420.000-1 at Roche Lexicon, Illustrated Navigator, Elsevier.